Yep, go ahead. All right, check the brake lever, see if cutting that plastic out worked. Yeah. Yeah? All right, see? Sometimes you just have to cut a little clearance in there. It's car life gone electric. All right, go play. Yes, it has suspension on both ends. That's why we built it out of a mobility scooter that was higher end. I think it's a Rascal 6000, if I remember right. Give me just a sec. Uh, Rascal 600. So we almost had to cut out part of that. This is the brake I was just talking about. If John bounces, he's got enough weight nowadays that it forces the plastic down and it hits the lockout brake. So as you can see, the Rascal's got kind of suspension. It's a little buckboardish. Uh, I also got a wheelie bar. And yeah, he's got a wheelie bar, and he's got suspension in here also, as you can see right there. But this bottoms out really, really easily, so we'll probably find something a little more extended and slightly softer at some point. But it all depends on fixing the steering. All right, go have fun. I know. <laughs> Better make this intro really quick, because John's really in a mood and wants to drive this thing. In a good mood, that is. He's excited to see it back out. So, this is a mobility scooter that we ended up buying off-road mobility scooter rear tires for. We figured out we could run the rear end on 36 volts. And that was good. We had it running on a bunch of these Mighty Max batteries, and it did all right. It's just got one of these little 36-volt whatever setups in it. And we ended up having a company reach out to us about replacement lithium batteries for this. They're, they're LIFO P4 whatever you want to call them batteries that are supposed to be interchangeable. We did notice one thing right off the bat. When we went to trigger the ignition on this thing, and I don't remember whether the camera will see it or not, it's coming up as 39.2 volts. So this is definitely putting out more voltage than what the lead acid sealed state batteries were doing. So John's going to take this thing out for a test drive because we want to take it apart and rebuild the front end to be more go-kart-ish. But here we go. Let's go take it for a test drive. Now, when was the last time you drove this thing? Like almost two years ago at this point, right? Yeah, it was like eight. Yeah, you've grown quite a bit. All right. See how many things you can crash into because you suck at backing up. Yeah, that thing's definitely more touchy with the higher voltage. When this thing had 24 volts in it, it was good for a small kid. But the moment we hit 36 volts, it got pretty, pretty gnarly. Yeah, that's definitely got some punch. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, Mr. Mister Punch It. Okay, I'll come down here and you can go a full throttle run. Huh? Why'd you break it? Alright, wait a minute. Alright, pick it up where you want it. So if we undo this... Okay. No, no, you can't bend it. You have to have it flat. You have to pick up by here so that it flops down. Okay, pick it up. You're trying to? Okay, you got it up where you want it? Yep. Okay, so I'll screw that in. So this worked out okay at low speed, but the problem is, John, act like you're taking a sharp turn. 
Yeah, so the faster you go, the more you have to actually lean the wrong direction to go. So, yeah. All right, give me a sec to get back here. I right, full throttle down through. Let's see what 39 volts does. Woo! <laughs> it goes pretty good. Yeah, there you go. You can see right there, you have to actually lean the wrong direction for the corner. So it gets a little hairy. All right, so we definitely have got to change the steering. The steering's got to get changed to more of a go-kartish type steering. Hey, John, yeah? do a loop and then I want to show them the front end. Okay. Whoop, I just did a burnout. Yeah, brakes are on the list of things that we need to figure out. <laughs> All right, so here's the way this front end works. This right here comes down through here as a pivot, and then, John, go back and forth with it once or twice. So there's a plate that comes out the bottom of it, which goes to these heim joints and then comes out through to here. So what I'm thinking is that if we take this assembly and we slice it off, we flip the whole thing up, or would that work? I'm not sure. I gotta play with the geometry on this because I think if we take this and we flip it straight up, I think that makes the rotation correct. But we'll see. That's gonna be the next big thing to do with this poor little bugger. Because winter's coming, so we might as well get some fun time out of it, right? It's fun. It's fun. It's fun even if it tries to throw you off on every corner. Yeah? All right, go play. Funner. It's even funner that way? Yep. Remember, you have no brakes. Don't be dumb. Okay. Or if you do be dumb, don't tell me. Okay. All right, bye-bye. And yes, it will go off-road, and it will make it around the house. We'll catch him on the other side, I bet. Oh,